Well, I mean, is it a bit of a strange week for the players preparing for a game on a on a Sunday rather than a, a Saturday, and then having a Wednesday game next week? Yeah, I think uh, it's a bit different, but it's only in the days off and day ins. But it's okay to play on Sunday. Give us a lift as well to look at other results on Saturday and extra motivation, you know, to see where we can go. You were involved in a, in a thrilling game in the FA Cup that ended in, in late disappointment with that Oxford equaliser. Have you, have you had a lot of time during the week to, to look at that and, and take the positives from it? Well, the good thing is we're still in. The, the bad thing is we have to go away and uh, we had bad memories. We lost 5 0 away against them, so uh, we'll have to get our. Our good days to win that games, you know. When you've had a bit of a disappointment conceding in the last minute, in in this case, do you want to play again quickly, or do you want to spend a bit of time getting ready for the next match and, and putting everything right? I think we want to play quickly, you know. Uh, that's going to be tough, so it's good that it's coming on just next week. So the hardest is going to be to try to 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 win straight away in the 90th minute because I think. We've got too many games coming and it's going to be tough for us to play extra times and to go in penalties and stuff like that. So it's better to win in the 90th minute for us. And the league schedule you mentioned is so busy playing Saturday and Tuesday quite a lot. That How difficult is it physically to, to be ready for one game, finish the game, prepared for the next one? I think it's very hard because for the squad, you know, the one who's playing, the one who's not playing, when you get to knock then... We, we can't train really properly for the next game. So, but some other player who doesn't play has to train properly. So that's uh, that's very hard to manage. But that's what the manager are here for, like to manage all the teams and all the player. But it's it's not easy. And Christmas coming, so a lot of games around celebration. So it's gonna be tough. You know, we have to be safe. We have to do our job. It's. The bad things that we got game in the best moment, you know, when it's a family times and stuff like that. But uh, I think we we signed for that. We we do football to do that, so we're quite happy. As far as the league is concerned, are you satisfied with where you are in the table, or, or do you feel like you perhaps could have got a few more points? I'm not really satisfied because when when you look the way we've been playing, we've been playing. Sometimes very good and concede very late goal cost us a lot of points. So, and when you look at the league table, it's very tight. If we had maybe six points more, we'll be in the top top five or top uh, six. So basically, we can look back and see that uh, we miss we miss some games. And I think at the end of the season, when we look at the league table and the way we played and the way we misconcentration on some games, we could be higher than where we are. Is consistency the really important thing? Is, is that what you're all trying to find? I think so. For me, it's probably we just we just go off sometime in the game. We play well, we could play well, but we go off for a reason. I don't know why. We've got always five, ten minutes where we don't find ourselves. And uh, it looks like teams are quite aware of that and score always in that times, so we're quite unlucky as well. Um, so it's kind of learning as well. We're a young team, try to improve and progress, so uh, it's going to come with experience. Burton Albion this weekend, one of your former clubs, does that make it a little bit extra special for you? Well, I had a good, I had a good time there, uh, got good reception, they, uh, they've been very good to me, so uh, not specially. Uh, it's going to be a, another game for me and hopefully I'm going to do well. And, and away from home, the team's been playing really well this season. Yeah, probably. As I said, it's, we are young teams. Uh, it's meant to be a bit different to manage the pressure. It's normal when you play home, you've got extra pressure because the fans expect the wins. Um, so we look a bit free when we play away and we play ourselves. But we love to encourage and to do better. That's what we're working at, but it's good that we're playing well away to get the points and uh, to keep high. And, and just finally, one big piece of injury news is that Ian Dunbavin's got this injury, he's had to have surgery. Somebody who's been around the place so long, how much of a, of a loss is, is Ian Dunbavin? 
To be honest, like I feel sorry for, for Ian because he's probably been our best player this season. He's had a great game and um, and it's it's hard for the for the mall, for the teams, but in the same time like we wish him the best recovery and like we, we hope that he's coming as soon as possible and we'll try to find someone else to do the job. You know, we can't stop on that. Uh, but it's very sad. We we all down because, as I said, uh, many games we've been poor, and he's been our best player. So so make a lot of save for us, and that's uh, give confidence for the team when you know that you've got someone who protect you at the back. So uh, that's a bit unlucky, but that's football. That's, uh, that's happened to. It could happen to anyone. So we have to go on with it.